Bodies on the floor, limbs twitching, pinpoint pupils, people foaming at the mouth. These images were given to AP by a U.S. official who says they were a compilation of publicly available videos of victims of chemical weapons attacks in Syria. The same videos of the August 21st attack were shown to members of Congress last week. The official was granted anonymity to discuss the subject of a classified briefing. The release comes the same day that President Barack Obama used his weekly address to rally public support for a military strike on Syria. That's why we can't ignore chemical weapons attacks like this one even if they happen halfway around the world. And that's why I call on members of Congress from both parties to come together and stand up for the kind of world we want to live in, the kind of world we want to leave our children and future generations. Secretary of State John Kerry has been shuttling through Europe, trying to garner support for what officials call a limited strike. In a joint statement Saturday, European foreign ministers agreed the chemical attack appears to have been the work of the Syrian government, but said any potential military attack against Syria should wait for a U.N. inspector's report. This is our chance to join together and pursue accountability over appeasement. We in the United States know and our French partners know that this is not the time to be silent spectators to slaughter. The video release comes just days before the president is to speak to the American people about Syria. That is scheduled for Tuesday night. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.